Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for the week of December 9th. This week, we are going to jump right in here. Uh, you have this leg up card and this to the sea card. So uh, I love this leg up card. It's like you're being assisted or you are re receiving guidance or, um, you know, something, <laughs> something like that uh, t towards a new direction with that to the sea card. The to the sea card kind of represents moving in a new direction or stepping into the unknown. So I do think that some of you are about to uh, do something unknown or, you know, it's like you're about to do something that you haven't done before in your life, which is good. Uh, usually when we go and step into the unknown, we are kind of like changing our story in some way. So I feel a lot of you could be changing your story or you could be like upgrading your story, you know, in, in your life. And this could be your story about whatever. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't have to be anything specific. But if you're hoping to like grow or expand or, uh, you know, attract abundance, that's, you know, that's what's going on here. And this is a very good reading. <laughs> so I like this for you, Cancer. A lot of good stuff. Uh, you start with the Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Swords can be like a win or a victory or some sort of big win coming in for you. And you also have the Ten of Pentacles, which can also kind of be a big win uh, at, at the end, especially in the good stuff. So we'll, of course, talk about that in a minute. But I do feel that focus could be important. Well, obviously, we are in Mercury retrograde, and retrogrades are great times to make sure that you are staying focused on exactly what you want. Now, we go Eight of Swords to the Empress. So Eight of Swords is only seeing one way of doing things when there are many. And this isn't bad, but I do feel it is saying you know, stay flexible, stay open, um, you know, just look at, f at all the different angles that you can approach something that you're trying to accomplish in your life, especially if it has to do with your abundance with that Empress card. And as long as you stay flexible, you will be fine. You have the Strength card. Strength card is a card of patience. I do feel like you have been very patient for something. It's like you've been asking for something, I feel, with the strength card. I feel like you've been developing yourself, working on yourself. You know, that's exactly what she is doing. She is taming her inner voice or her inner demons or her inner critic with this, you know, that's what this lion represents. So it seems to me like you've been doing a lot of work on yourself with the strength card. And that's kind of like all I get on that card. Uh, you do have the death card. And maybe this is like the changes that are finally happening with the uh, strength card so you could finally be seeing that you are changing or that you are different and that you know you are going through transformations in your life so i don't really feel much on the death card either other than the fact that it could be saying that you're like finally uh, going through the transformation that you've been hoping for or the change that you've been hoping for uh, the ace of swords could say you're finally having a victory that you've been hoping for or some sort of win so let's see uh, with the ace of swords you have the seven of cups um, I think you get the Seven of Cups with me a lot, I, or I think it's you. I'm not sure, but the Seven of Cups, he is spoiled for choice. He is imagining something, and he's got these good things and these bad things in these cups. So he's like imagining all the good things and bad things that could happen if he manifested like a dream or something that he wants. But really, he, he's not going to know until he does it. And, you know, luckily you have that to the sea card. So if you have been overthinking something, I kind of feel the seven of cups to, to the sea, ace of swords, that these cards are saying, actually, you're finally taking action on something. Uh, with the Strength card, you have the Seven of Pentacles, uh, which you have twice here in the reading. So you have it here and here. Seven of Pentacles says, is the juice worth the squeeze? As in, you know, is your life right now, is it providing you with the things that you want and desire or not? I don't, and I don't know. I can't answer that question for you, Cancer. So the Seven of Pentacles, he's kind of analyzing everything that he has grown so far. And he is thinking to himself, like, should I grow something else? Should I move in a new direction? Should I do something differently with my life? And again, like I said, I can't answer that question for you, but I do think a lot of you are clearly making a change with the Seven of Pentacles. With the Death card, you have the Three of Wands. Yeah, expansion, growth, again, uh, to the sea, leg up. These two cards definitely would represent like the Three of Wands because... Um, the leg up card represents, you know, getting a leg up, getting a boost. And the to the sea card would represent expansion or growth. So I feel the first row is pretty simple, that you are just in a period where you are expanding, growing, you know, moving in new directions, whatever you want to call it. Uh, next in the area of what's coming in for you, you have this communicate card and this watch for signs card. So yeah, I think now is a great time actually 
for communication, even though we have Mercury going retrograde, doesn't matter. Uh, you have to look at where it's happening in your chart. It's in Sagittarius, and it could be in a different house for all of you. But uh, what I would say is that I still think it could be a good time for communication. Uh, this could be love communication. I mean, you have the Ace of Swords, Knight of Cups, and the Two of Cups in your top row, uh, which would definitely represent communication with a person. The Two of Cups is uh, communication for sure. Uh, th there, th this right here in the middle of those two is the Staff of Hermes, and the Staff of Hermes is Mercury, which represents uh, communication. The Watch for Signs card could say you are receiving signs like about a person, so I would pay attention. Uh, you have the Knight of Cups, Eight of, Cup, Eight of Swords, sorry, and the Seven of Pentacles. The Knight of Cups could be like a knight in shining armor or someone who sweeps you off your feet if you're looking for love. You've been getting pretty good love readings with me for the past few readings at least, so clearly there's like... You know, it could just be a good time for love for you, Cancer, even if you don't want it. <laughs> you know, people love to tell me how they don't want it. I'm like, well, you know, that's not going to stop a person from being attracted to you. You don't have to accept it, but, you know, the energy could still be in your life. And so there you go. Uh, I also feel that with the Seven of Cups, this could just be a, tr a dream. So if you don't want love, and even if you do, uh, you know, the, the Knight of Cups is very dreamy, and he is standing in the desert, and he has this water flowing in front of him, but he needs to plant seeds in front of that water, and if he plants seeds in front of that water, even though he's in the desert, that those seeds will grow. So I think a lot of you could also, you know, outside of love, you could be working on growing something that is like part of your dream life, or you could be thinking about getting started on something uh, that would bring you closer to your dream, and that's really what I feel you're doing there. Uh, you have the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is a card of self-imposed restriction, and the Eight of Swords says you need to set yourself free. Uh, if this is love, I kind of feel like you're overthinking it a little bit, going Eight of Swords to the Two of Cups right here. So if you want love, the Eight of Swords would say it's time to open up or to not like overthink something that you're overthinking here. Uh, this could also be about your dream. Like I said, the Two of Cups can be you and your higher self. And so it can say that your higher self is giving you messages about like what you should be doing in your life. And, you know, maybe you are, this card says watch for signs. And so it kind of gives me the feelings that you are getting like synchronicities or you are seeing signs, but maybe you're doubting it. So I would say don't doubt the like synchronicities that you're seeing. Uh, you have the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles, again, is a change in direction. Uh, he is, think, you know, he has done his work on the Seven of Pentacles, and he's realizing that maybe there's something better, or maybe there's something new that he could work on, or maybe there's something better that he could put his energy into. And so I think a lot of you are kind of either making changes at work, or um, this could also be something personal as well. Like, you know, it could just be like a personal project or something that you're working on at home, or maybe you're developing yourself. Again, we have the Strength card, which is a great card of personal development. And so the Seven of Pentacles could say, you know, I kind of get that feeling is what I'm trying to say of like development or trying to develop yourself. Uh, with the Knight of Cups, you have the Hierophant marriage. So again, if you're attracting a person, uh, definitely could lead to marriage. The Hierophant is also like a blessing. So, you know, there could just be certain blessings or you could be feeling more blessed uh, at this time. The other thing is if we're talking about a dream here, Cancer, the Hierophant is able to communicate with like heaven and earth. He is able to uh, t translate the messages from heaven down to earth. And so with all of this, like all this communication, even if we look at this as your higher self and then the Ten of Pentacles as well and the Seven of Cups, this could be you um, taking a dream and bringing it down to earth. Like you are literally um, manifesting a vision here on earth. With the Eight of Swords, you show up, the Chariot. I'm pretty sure all year you've been getting the Chariot in like every single reading that I do for you. So, um, you know, whenever you show up as yourself, it puts you in a position of power and strength and allows you to get what you want from the reading. So this is very good. Definitely could be a lot more success coming in for you with the Chariot. Uh, the Chariot is also like a victory, and we have the Ace of Swords as well. So if you are experiencing any blockages, I do feel you will be having a victory. We go straight to the Empress, and this could be a very abundant victory that's coming in for you at this time. Uh, with the uh, Seven of Pentacles, you have the Four Swords. Four Swords is resting, relaxing, recovering. Again, Mercury retrograde right now, so... Four Swords comes up in every single reading that I do during Mercury Retrogrades. Uh, this has been going on for years, literally. So I would, you know, say if you need to rest, rest. If you need extra sleep, get extra sleep. If you need something else, get something else. It's also a card of blessings. There's a person 
blessing another person in a stained glass window right here. So some of you could be receiving blessings or you're getting blessings from a situation in your life, uh, which would be good. Or again, I, I said at the beginning of the reading right here that the strength card was saying to me that you have been asking for something, like you've been you know, asking or praying for a blessing. And that blessing could be anything. It could be work, business, love, money, spirituality, whatever. And I feel that you could be receiving a blessing, which is good. Uh, you can't make this up. In your next row for messages from your future self, you have the success and triumph card. We see a lot of victory cards in this reading. It says nothing will be able to get in your way. You will surely come out on top. Yeah, you're like a little bit unstoppable right now, Cancer. You have this temple of the soul. It says you are on a karmic path so you can unravel the mysteries of your karmic debts. Uh, so again, a lot of you, uh, you know, what I would say is uh, Pluto entering into Aquarius, which it has already done, um, and it's going to stay for like 19 years, is very, it can be kind of karmic, but not like, you know, not like a karmic. That's not what I'm talking about. But uh, you definitely have probably already cleared up some karma and cleared up some lessons that you've learned. And I feel like you need to, you know, the message I'm getting is that you need to realize that you have learned the lesson. It's like you're not going to repeat something. So I kind of get this little bit of a fear of repeating a mistake. And I feel like this is saying, no, you're not going to repeat a mistake. Uh, you have the Two of Cups, King of Swords, and the Empress. Uh, two of Cups could obviously be a perfect match. We see really good love cards here. So if you want love, um, like I said, this could be love. It looks to me like it's something that's going to start with communication. I mean, you have that Communicate card. You have the Ace of Swords, the Knight of Cups, the Two of Cups. These are all cards of communication. So definitely you could be talking to someone new. Uh, the Two of Cups is usually someone who's very different than your usual type. So, you know, they, they could be different in some way. Uh, but Two of Cups is usually very good. So, you know, this looks pretty good to me. Uh, like I also said, I would pay attention to the sign symbols, synchronicities, the, you know, the things that you are receiving, like the messages from the universe that you're receiving. Uh, you have the King of Swords. Uh, it could be a person who's older than you. Uh, again, not always true. Uh, the King of Swords can just be a person who's like very mature and you could be attracting a person like that. Um, I, I feel like I've said this to you before as well, Cancer. Um, you know, it, it seems to me like this could be a person that's either hard to read or you just don't know the person yet. Sometimes I feel like the King of Swords can be a person who's hard to read, like I said, or it, it's just telling me as the reader that you just don't know this person. So, <laughs> you know, maybe you just haven't met him yet and you're about to, but uh, definitely could be a good person. Uh, you have the Empress, which is great. You know, the Empress says you're very attractive at this time. So there you go. Uh, it doesn't matter what gender you are. Again, if you're looking for love, I would get out into public so that people can see you because, you know, this card says you're very attractive at this time and you could be attracting like a new person. Uh, this is also an amazing card for abundance. And we see a great potential for abundance. Seven of Pentacles twice, Empress and the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, I love the Ten of Pentacles, but you know, I feel like people make it out to be like better than it actually is because the Ten of Pentacles is, you know, something that you work on forever. So it, the Ten of Pentacles isn't necessarily something that you just get unless it's an inheritance. Um, but unless you know that you're getting an inheritance, then it's probably not an inheritance, right? Uh, with the Two of Cups, you have the King of Wands. Yeah, a lot of passion here. So again, if you are attracting a person, I feel like you could be attracting someone who's very like passionate, assertive, bold, confident, you know, all, all of those things. So it could be a very passionate connection. Uh, with the King of Swords, you have the Ace of Pentacles. Sorry, uh, the Ace of Pentacles is a big opportunity that's coming in for you. I kind of feel like this is a little bit of everything, this reading. Like there could be a little bit of love and also really good opportunities in work and business as well with the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles is a card of growth and a card of, you know, attracting more abundance into your life. So if you're hoping to be more abundant, here you go. You have the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles is something that we want to nurture into existence. Again, I always say the Ace of Pentacles is like a garden because there's this garden right here and we have to like water it, feed it, fertilize it, you know, give it sunlight so that it can grow. And you have the Empress right below it. So, you know, this is pretty good here for you, Cancer. The Empress is very nurturing. She's very caring. She's very, um, you know, she's willing to grow things and she's very abundant. So if you're getting any new opportunities, I would really nurture those things into existence. With the Empress, you have the Two of Swords. I'm pretty sure you have the Two of Swords in the last reading I did. There's something you're not seeing. I, I'm pretty sure I said the same thing to you. It popped into my head hard, if you can't tell here, Cancer. But there's something you're not seeing. Or, you know, I don't even think it's something you're not seeing. I just think that this is saying that something is not going to go how you think. Um, but I, don't, I also, you know, this is a very good reading. 
So I feel like this is saying something is not going to go how you think in a good way. You know, it's like she is thinking this or that, but she has this new island behind her. And I always say she needs to get to that new island. That new island could represent like a third place or another another option or a different way that she could do things. So in a lot of ways, I feel like the Two of Swords is saying that you need to stay open to other ways of doing things or you, you need to kind of realize that, um, you know, your how you think something is going to go is probably not how it's going to go, but like in a good way. Uh, next in the area of the good stuff, you have this regret card and this adventure card. I, obviously, this is coming up in the good stuff. So I kind of feel like this is saying you will not regret uh, this adventure and you're definitely about to go on an adventure you have that to the sea card so even if you're making big changes you know let me let me just back up a little bit here let me re rewind here cancer and let me just say that sometimes i think we make a decision where you know, in life where we go on a new adventure and maybe it means that we can't do something else right you have the ace of swords the ace of swords can represent making a sacrifice so sometimes we have to cut one thing out of our life so that we can have something better with the ace of swords and we could be afraid that we're going to regret it you know and but i really feel that this is something that you are not going to regret you know for the first i always tell a story like for the first four years of this channel i had another business and I thought that business was going to be the thing that I did. Like, I thought it was going to be the thing that got me to my goals, right? And, I, like, I was really holding on to that business, even though, it, like, you know, it was kind of working, but not really. <laughs> and once I let it go, this channel took off. And this channel has blown my mind in what it, ha it has provided for me. So it's like sometimes, like, we have to let go of something. And, you know, I did have fears that I would regret um, letting it go. Like, I, I did have those worries and those concerns, right? And so I feel like this is saying you, you never know that how, like, sometimes what you're holding on to is preventing you from what you actually want. And I don't really feel you're holding on to something, but I do feel this is saying that you will not regret letting this go, whatever it is. Uh, you have the, and it could be anything. It could be your story or it could be what you think your future is. You know, it could be anything. You have the Nine of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands. The Nine of Cups is total fulfillment. So I think a lot of you could be finding fulfillment at this time with the Nine of Cups, or you could be getting something you wish for, especially, you know, with this coming up in the area of the good stuff, there definitely could be a wish or wish fulfillment uh, coming in for you with the Nine of Cups. Uh, you have the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is everything you want and desire in your life. Um, again, it doesn't mean you're going to have it. It just means that you're working towards it and you're building a more solid foundation, which is kind of the message that I'm getting for you here, Cancer. I feel like you're, you are working on building a very solid foundation in your life. I also feel like you're you know, I think you're about to receive something that is going to get you to this place, the, the Ten of Pentacles place. And it could be an opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles, could even be love as well, that is going to provide something for you that gets you closer to the Ten of Pentacles. So that looks good. Uh, you have the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is a card of conviction. It's a card that says when you know that you know that something is going to be a success, you know, that's when it will truly be successful. So we have to believe things on a very deep level with the Seven of Wands. We really have to kind of like commit to the belief and we have to kind of, um, you know, uh, make sure that every cell in our body is believing that we can accomplish something and we have to believe it that deeply. So I feel for a lot of you uh, that you, uh, but I kind of feel like you are because it's showing up in the Seven of Wands. With the Nine of Cups, you have the Queen of Pentacles. We see really good money stuff going on in the reading. So a lot of you are clearly increasing your resources or you could be doing things to increase your resources or make more money, which is great. Uh, with the Ten of Pentacles, you have the Three of Cups. Three of Cups is a celebration or happiness. Uh, these people are celebrating a harvest that is going on around them. And with the Ten of Pentacles, you know, clearly to me, this would say that you are celebrating a harvest. With the Seven of Wands, you have the Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles is work hard, play hard. Um, and in the good stuff, you know, it could be just saying that you are um, working hard and you are playing hard, basically. So, you know, I think that there's like a little bit of both that's coming in for you here, which is great. Uh, you have this flowers card, which says happiness on it. I'm pretty sure you had this card with me recently as well. Maybe not in the last reading, but you definitely have had a reading recently that said you're going to be very happy soon. So, you know, it could be a lot more happiness coming in for you. Uh, can't make this one up. You have this broken ring card that says parting of the ways either in romance or business. And then you have this May card as well. Um, you know, like I said earlier, I, I don't really think you're holding on to something with, um, you know, with these last two cards here, but I do feel... 
it, it it's like hmm, you know like i said sometimes i think we just tell ourselves a story like i did with my business and i'm not saying it's a business for you it could be anything but you just tell yourself a story where you're like oh this is who i am this is the thing that's going to be successful but really it's just going to be something else and i think some of you are kind of moving away from something uh, you have this man man card. <laughs> it says dealings or relationships with a man. You have this haystack. It says karma. You will reap what you have sown. Yeah, I, I think you've put a lot of work into yourself. So you really, you could be attracting a person or you could just be attracting positive karma because of the hard work you've done. And like we said earlier, you have that karmic card, not about a karmic as in a person. Um, I think that's BS anyway, the whole karmic thing. But, um, you know, I think this is just saying that you are getting the rewards for the work you've done. Uh, you have this dog, it says protection from a powerful friend. Uh, yeah, I think that three of cups is a great card for, um, you know, getting support from the people who matter to you. And that's what I feel this is saying. And finally, you have this goldfish, it says increase in material wealth and spiritual growth. So amazing, definitely a lot of growth and spiritual growth coming in for you as well. But uh, pretty simple. I like it, Cancer, it looks really good. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.